I'm Miss Melissa at the Oosterhout Free Library, where Baby Mouse is really popular, both in chapter book and graphic novel form. So today, for First Page Fridays, I have the first in the Baby Mouse Tales from the Locker series. It's called Lights, Camera, Middle School. It's published by Random House. It's by Jennifer Holm and her brother Matthew Holm, who does the illustrations, and there are a lot of them in this chapter book. So I'm going to let those illustrations help me tell the story now. Middle school was like a movie. Not a romantic, smoochy movie. Mm, or a swashbuckling pirate movie. Or even ooh, a space aliens invade the world kind of movie. It was a monster movie. The hallways were crawling with spooky creatures. You were always having to run for your life. And everywhere you turned, Someone was trying to eat your brains. But sometimes the scariest thing about middle school involved whiskers. And believe me, I know whiskers. My name is Baby Mouse, and this is my tale from the locker. I was standing in front of my locker trying to open it. As usual, the door was stuck. I had a love-hate relationship with my locker, a.k.a. locker. Mostly, I hated the big metal bully. I swear it ate my homework. I banged on it for a minute, and finally it popped open. Hey, baby mouse, a voice called. I turned around to see Felicia Furrypaws. If this was a monster movie, Felicia would be a zombie. At middle school, zombies traveled in packs and dressed the same. Instead of hunting brains, they wanted stuff. Whatever was cool and in. It could be wedge sandals or ruffled scarves or sparkly lip gloss. They just had to have it. Friends, more, cool. Felicia and I had gone to elementary school together with her perfectly straight whiskers she had always been one of the popular girls. Today, she was sporting a plaid skirt, white tights, and a crisp white shirt with a ruffled bow. She looked stylish and, and French, like she'd walked out of a fashion ad. Her look shouted, cool girl. And my look? I wasn't quite sure. I definitely wanted my look to say. And here you can see Baby Mouse lists several different things. My favorite is the picture of Princess Leia that says, I'm daring. And then the one that says, I think koala bears are underappreciated. It was kind of hard to translate all this into a look. Speaking of looks, Felicia was staring at my face. Did you straighten your whiskers? She asked. Yes. I said with a bright smile. It was technically true. My whiskers were straight, even if they weren't exactly mine. See, I'd tried straightening my whiskers using a fancy cream, but the harsh chemicals had burned them right off. So this morning, I'd glued on some false whiskers to hide the damage. You might want to use more glue next time, she told me. What do you mean, I asked. That, she said pointing at my nose. I realized that one of my whiskers was dangling. <sighs> she blew at it. I watched in horror as it fell off and floated to the floor in slow motion. Felicia walked off laughing. Ah, <sighs> the sigh. I was never going to be famous for my whiskers. And that was the problem right there. In elementary school, all I wanted to do was fit in. But now that I was in middle school, I wanted to stand out. I wanted to be the one everyone was talking about. I wanted to be famous. So here from the back cover is how she intends to do that. Baby Mouse doesn't want to fit in. She wants to stand out. So she joins the film club to write and direct a sweeping cinematic epic. 
were making the film of her dreams turn into a nightmare? You'll want to find out the funny answer to that question. We have about 15 baby mouse books here at the Oostrout Free Library, and there's a couple more available on the free cloud library app that you can download from oosterhout.info. Catch up with all of our online programming. We're reading Encanto out loud right now. We have Science Saturdays and other story times, and we're getting back to in-person programming. Bye-bye.